Thank you for sharing that great insight. And I'd like to follow up. You mentioned you, you're not going to have a good team, definitely not a championship team, unless the players respect the coach. You can't coach unless the players respect you. At, and you've been a coach as well. You've coached the Celtics. What do you do um, to, to command that respect? How do you go about getting those, the players to respect you, and especially in today's modern NBA? Well, there's coaches in the room, and you know you got to tell them the truth. And, and players know the game. They, they know they've been coached by other coaches before they got to you. And they've been involved in, you know, um, chalk sessions and film sessions and all that stuff. And they, 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 they're listening to you, and they want to see if you know what you're talking about. You know, when I first got into coaching, you have to kind of learn the fundamentals of coaching. You got to learn how to break a game down. You got to learn how to do the film work and put it together. And you got to learn how to make things interesting in a, you know, two or three minute hit, you know, and, and how to go from one frame to another frame and to finish it up and, you know, and make it simple for people to understand and execute the game plan. So, um, you know, it, it takes it, it takes practice if you've never had to do that before. And um, so, you know, I'd say with coaches, uh, you know, players, I think as they, and everybody here has probably played sports and had coaches that they remember from the high school or college level. And as the farther you get away from those coaches, the more you respect them and think about them and about how important they were in your life. And because you learn an awful lot from guys besides just, a, you know, X's and O's and trying to win ball games. You listen, you know, when, when things are tough and you hear what they say and how they lead. And the leadership part is the hardest thing you know, to be as a, as a coach. I'm glad you brought that up, Dave. In fact, um, you, I'm uh, fortunate to have one, thanks to Jim, uh, inviting him. One of my former coaches is actually here tonight, uh, Coach J.P. Mancuso. And um, speaking of appreciating over the years, we appreciated Coach Mancuso at the time because he was a real fun coach to play for. But I've learned over the years, as I've reflected back, the guy was a coaching genius. Because the more I think about it, he was actually pretty strict and pretty demanding and made us work really hard. But, but we, we were having so much fun, we didn't, we didn't even know we were working hard. So, uh, Coach, uh, please say what? Uh, now, I've got to ask you about another legendary.